Hi and welcome back to this week's episode of We Know Melbourne. Today we're in a very special place, Hage Chocolate Store on Swanston Street. In fact, it's actually at the entrance of our hotel lobby, so as you can imagine, it's hard for the workers to keep the lava off during the winter. Um, anyway, now a little bit about Hayes. It's uh, an Australia-wide store. It was founded by Alfred E. Hay. Uh, now, Alfred was born in South Australia in Adelaide in 1877, and he recently sold ice cream and sweets. In fact, he was one of the first people to introduce ice cream in silent movies. So when you go to the cinemas in today's terms, when you pick up a choc top, you can thank, even though it's not Hague's chocolate, you can thank Alfred for combining those two to make a great idea. Now, unfortunately, um, well, sadly, Alfred suddenly died in 1933 at the ripe age of 56. By then, Hague's had grown to six stores, so his son Claude took over the business. Uh, now, Claude supplied sweets and confectionery to the armed forces during World War II, despite uh, the sugar rationing during the time as well, so carried the business through quite a difficult time. Um, yeah, so he kept that going for quite a, quite a number of years. Now, when his son, or Alfred's grandson, John, <coughs> John came into the business, he wanted to take chocolate making to a new level. So, he travelled to Switzerland, and what, who better to learn chocolate making from than the Swiss. So, so he went over to, um, to Switzerland, he also spent a bit of time in America, brought back a whole lot of machines, a uh, whole lot of new recipes, and has now got what the chocolate that you see today. So, now with over 13 stores across uh, the major cities in Australia, Hayes has become one of Melbourne's and Australia's favourite chocolate makers. Now, I was just talking to the regional manager, Fiona, before, who let us know that Hayes, in fact, are the only chocolate company that make chocolate in Australia. All the other companies uh, simply melt chocolate down, mix their flavours, and then produce their products. So that's just another reason why you should buy Hayes chocolate. It's a great local company. It's great local the Australian company. economy. Yeah, that's right. We're told that the, 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 the most popular chocolate is their speckled pastels. So we'll show you that on the camera in just a second. Uh, so, moving on. David, what have you got for us? So for this week, uh, for Friday to Sunday, is at uh, the Royal Exhibition Building, is the La Dolce Italia Festival, which is a festival showcasing the best of Italian food, wine, fashion, tourism and art. You've got everything from fashion parades to food and wine masterclasses. He'll be in the fashion parades. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> now, tickets range from $30 for general admission to $55 for the masterclasses. Uh, you can follow La Dolce Italia on Twitter, at La Dolce Italia, and you can also like them on Facebook, and we'll put a link down at the bottom. Um, now, next, we've got a little bit of classical music for you. Now, the Australia Chamber Orchestra are performing Beethoven's Symphony No. 9, Ode to Joy. That is his favourite. I've got to say it's my favourite. thought 7 and 8 were a bit... Mm, really brought home with number nine. <laughs> now, it's been performed at uh, the recently renovated and beautiful Hamer Hall. Tickets range from $45 to $129. Now, it's on this Sunday the 12th and Monday the 13th. And the Sunday show is actually sold out, so if you want more information and tickets for the Monday show, you need to visit www.aco.com.au. Now, Matthew, what is your pick of the week this week? Uh, my pick of the week, so uh, the concierge team and David uh, and myself, obviously, we went on a recent, you could say, work junket. Research. Research. Yeah. Basically, we went up and down Brunswick Street and tried out all the restaurants and bars that we yeah. recommend on our We Know Melbourne guides. Yeah. Uh, one of the places we stopped at was called Naked for Satan. Now, I know it sounds a bit funny, but basically, it's a Spanish uh, inspired cuisine. Now, it's called, it's actually called a Pintox Bar. Yeah. Now, for those of you who don't know what a Pintox Bar is, Basically, uh, they have this buffet of food uh, with all sort of little um, appetizer-sized bits of food with toothpicks in them. What you do is you grab a plate, you grab as many as you like, and you keep the toothpicks until the end, and then you go and pay for each toothpick. Yep. So it's a dollar on, I think, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday nights, and then it's $2 per piece on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday nights. That's located at 285 Brunswick Street, so make sure you check it out. And my pick of the week this week is the Little Creatures Dining Hall on Brunswick Street. Uh, they have a big, big warehouse space beer hall. They serve all of the Little Creatures beer products and alcohols. And they also have a great contemporary sharing food menu. It's a really great place to check that one out. 
Remember to follow us on Twitter at We Know Melbourne and like us on Facebook at The Swanston Hotel. You can also go to theswansonhotel.com forward slash We Know Melbourne and print off the Brunswick Street Guide for some more great Brunswick ideas. Uh, yes, of course. And uh, we would have a great week. Fantastic. We'll see you next time. We Know Melbourne.